In this video, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to Easy Mercurial. I found this project on the internet. They use a Mercurial repository for it, and I'd like to get a copy. Let's start Easy Mercurial. This is the first time I've run it, so I need to tell it who I am. The email address is optional. This information isn't used for logging in to anything. It's just the personal details I want to have shown next to any changes I make whenever I use Easy Mercurial. Now I'm being asked what to open. Let me just go back to the project I was interested in. This is the home page for the project. Clicking on Repository, I can see a list of the files and changes in the repository on the server. As well as this URL. I'll copy this, go back to Easy Mercurial, and paste it in here. And I need to give it a new folder name to put my copy of the repository in. Okay, that worked. Now, if we look at the History tab, we can see the same list of changes as were shown on the project's website and the code itself is now in the folder that I told it to use. Clicking here opens your normal system file manager at that location. And there it is.